everybody, I'm Rory, and today I'm going to review Scaredy Cat Splat. I'm not going to show you the pictures on all of them, okay? Mom cried Splat, there's a scary spider on my jack-o'-lantern. He's small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat's voice wobbled with worry. But you're small and hairy with really funny eyes, said he, said his mom. Splat fought for a moment. But I haven't got eight legs, he replied. If you had, maybe you'd be a scary spider too, teased his mom. Splat made a scary spider face. Splat's mom caught the spider under a glass jar. Splat looked closely at the spider. It didn't look so scary now that it was trapped. Can I take the spider to school for Halloween? Asked Splat. We've all made jack-o'-lanterns and... Everyone is dressing up in costumes, and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to tell a ghost story and a prize for the scariest cat, and I want to be the scariest cat. So please, could I take the spider to school? Please, he added without taking a breath. Okay, said his mom. Where's your Halloween costume? asked his mom. Splat pulled a broom from the closet and sat astride it. Aha, look at me. I'm a scary witch's cat. Splat cried Splat racing around the kitchen. You certainly are scary, said his mom. Splat's mom, wait, then disaster struck. Splat stri tripped over his tail with a crack. The broom handle snapped in two. His scary witch's costume hat was ruined. Now I've got nothing to wear, Splat groaned. Even Seymour couldn't console him. Splat's mom had an idea. She stuffed some old socks with scrunched up newspaper and tied them to Splat with string. There, there, she said. Splat looked in the mirror and jumped back with a squeal. Oh, I scared myself, he said. He looked again and this time he smiled. Look at me, he cried, waving his sock legs. I'm a big scary sock spider. Splat placed his jackal lantern and spider on his wagon and set off to school. On the way, he met Spike, dressed as a mummy, and Plank, dressed as, as a skeleton. They're pretty scary, said Splat. Seymour nodded and trembled a little. But I'm scarier, said Splat. Splat made a scariest spider face and growled. Grrr! Spike and Plank didn't even blink instead. Boo! cried Spike. Boo! cried Plank. Splat, Splat yelped and jumped high in the air and landed in a heap. Aw, Splat sighed. Splat and Plank are both scarier than me. Seymour nodded and trembled a little bit more. I'll never win the prize for, the, for scariest cat, said Splat. The sock spider, the skeleton, and the money, mummy, continued on the, their way to school. In class, everyone showed their jack-o'-lanterns. Splat's jack-o'-lantern made everyone laugh. Aw, Spike sat Splat side. I'll never win the prize for a scariest. Cat Seymour shook his head. Everyone placed on fla placed flashlights in their jack o' lantern, and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned down the lights and whispered in her best ghost story voice, a voice in the dark, dark woods. There's a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house. There's a dark, dark room. In the dark, dark room. There's a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box, there's a ghost. Miss Wimble, wait, Miss Wimpy Dimble cried. The class jumped with fright. Splat was so startled, his tail whipped around and sent his jack-o'-lantern spinning through the air. And what goes up must come down. Splat! Unable to see anything, Splat. Splat stumbled around the classroom. Woo! Everyone shrieked as the pumpkin head glared at them and made strange, strange woo hoo noises. Woo! 
This is when Pete Dimple turned on the lights and lifted up the, ja the wayward jack-o'-lantern. The shrieking turned on laughter as Splat fell out. Calm down, calm down, hushed Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Now, class, who should win the prize for being scary cat? Splat, they all cheered. The end. Bye, don't forget to subscribe.